Hey guys and welcome back. So if you are still using a CentOS 7 for your Zabbix installation and let's say you want to upgrade to the Zabbix 5.2 then you might want to watch this video till the end. So the thing is that Zabbix 5.2 is out already for a while and there was like quite a lot of speculations about the official packages for the CentOS 7 operating system which is uh, let's say not uh, the most fresh one but still it is very popular and most commonly used uh, even in the production environment so what is actually going on let's try to understand it first of all we have an official blog entry from the Zabbix company and the topic of it is staying up to date when using official Zabbix packages and I can save you already some time like the short answer is the Zabbix is not going to provide official packages for the Zabbix 5.2 on the CentOS 7 and it even does not have to do anything with the recent uh, Red Hat announcement about change of the focus from the CentOS project so basically that mostly affects the CentOS 8 but whatever the problem is that CentOS 7 is very old and uh, honestly saying it basically is already deprecated despite the fact that it is again a very popular and still in many places very frequently used distribution uh, it is outdated it is deprecated and if we would go to the CentOS wiki page we can see that CentOS 7 release date was 2014 full updates ended in uh, 08 2020 and the maintenance updates will be coming out till 2024 but maintenance updates those are just like critical things and basically as far as the dependencies library softwares that are coming into CentOS 7 will not be provided anymore and a fun fact is that CentOS 7 right now is more production ready than the CentOS 8 which is supported just for the next year if you don't know what I'm talking talking about just check the, my previous video in the channel where I covered that like quite closely so the thing again about Zabbix and the CentOS 7 the problem itself it started starting with a Zabbix 5.0 which was released how long ago um yeah more than half a year ago something around uh, eight months I guess when uh, Zabbix release 5.0 which is a LTS so long-term support version and uh, they upped a lot of the dependencies including the PHP and this was the first time the problem really hit so minimal supported PHP version in in the Zabbix 5.0 was Zabbix PHP 7.2 but in the CentOS 7 the only available uh, version of the PHP is 5.4 at that point we can say that CentOS was like even more commonly used than it is now so I guess at that point it was a little bit too early to say like hey we're dropping support of the CentOS 7 we're not gonna provide official packages so then at the release of 5.0 like a workaround a dirty workaround was used for the packages and uh, the Zabbix started to use SCL repository from which was pulled the PHP 7.2 which kind of allowed to actually deliver those 5.0 packages uh, for the front and server proxy and all the other stuff on the CentOS 7. Still there are many other and more serious problems like old databases and open SSL support. The secure connections to the database was introduced to the 5.0 but those are not working in the RHEL 7 because old databases versions that are shipped together with the RHEL 7 and uh, basically the functionality the encryption uh, for the database between the front end server and the database was um, let's say very very popular but still I guess it was not used that frequently in, in, in the Zabbix environments because you were not even able to configure that like it, it is enough to specify <clears throat> 
dbtls connect required in the zabbix server con file and after the restart all you will get is uh, dbtls connect configuration parameter cannot be used because the zabbix server was compiled without a postgres or mysql library version that supports tls and this is the actual problem so the native stuff that comes inside a centos 7 is so old that it does not support the tls encryption between the components so there was no possibility to use it another issue the fact that old open ssl package like if you use open ssl in a centos 7 it does support only tls 1.2 right now at this stage we can say that a lot of the softwares a lot of the encryptions uh, are using tls 1.3 so uh, as an option for example if you want to uh, let's say harden your encryption inside a zabbix and you want to use a tls 1.3 it will not be possible on the centos 7 but it is fully supported on the rel 8 and also of course the centos 8 additionally if you want to do some sort of the web checks if you want to check your web page for whatever just availability and that is using ssl with a minimal required tls version 1.3 if you are running on the centos 7 there will be no way how you can monitor that page that web page so the conclusion was if for the version 5.0 uh the zabbix did that extra step to still provide a packages for the centos 7 then right now with a version 5.2 what we can see is even more new functionality requires the versions of the libraries of the dependencies that are not available in the centos 7 and further on it will become even worse right so 5.2 which is not long-term support version after six months there will be 5.4 already four months or so and it's also not an lts then 6.0 so kind of i guess it would make more sense to drop the support of the centos 7 in the next lts release but one year is too much uh, to wait because we will lose more and more available functionality in a zabbix because of outdated uh, dependencies and libraries on a centos 7. so that's why what we can say there won't be any official packages for the centos 7 for the zabbix server and the front end proxies will be there a bit later but again the same functionality mentioned by me will not be supported agents of course there will be and uh, yeah so as long as it's possible i would still suggest to um yeah like a couple of days ago i would say to migrate to the centos 8 right now after announcement from the red hat about a centos project as a whole i don't really know um yeah perhaps oracle linux i guess that's the most uh, most common approach at these days so thank you guys i hope this brings some clarity to your your thoughts about a zabbix in a rel 7 so thank you once again and we'll see you in the next videos